Let me show you this summer triangle, a pattern of three very bright stars that will make it much simpler for you to find constellations in and around it. Happily, the triangle itself is pretty easy, and believe me, it will unlock a huge part of the sky for you. This is Touring the Night Sky with Zachary Singer. The summer triangle stars are Deneb, Vega, and Altair. Say it with me, Deneb, Vega, Altair. It so happens that these are the brightest stars in this part of the sky, so they will really stand out. Once you're looking in the right place, they'll be obvious. Just go outside in the summer around 10 p.m. or the fall around 9. Face south and look up. I'll bet you the stars of the triangle will be the first thing you see. Here are other times when you'll find the summer triangle in this position. If you look earlier, you'll find it to the east. If you look later, it's to the west. If it's hazy out or you're under city light pollution, Deneb, Vega, and Altair will be among the few stars you see, which is a great way to get a feel for the triangle size across the sky. It's one of the few advantages of a light polluted environment. So, now that we can find the summer triangle, let's use it as a jumping off point to some constellations. To start with, each of these three stars belongs to a different constellation, so we already have a big boost to find at least three. First, there's Deneb in the constellation Cygnus the Swan. Most of the stars in Cygnus's simple outline are visible even under moderate light pollution, and this constellation is easy for beginners to learn. The gorgeous blue and gold double star Alberio shows up nicely in small beginner telescopes even in the city. There's far more here in Cygnus than just Alberio, including some famous nebulae and more double stars. Then there's Vega, the brightest star in this part of the sky. It's part of the constellation Lyra, and Lyra's shape, a simple parallelogram, is easy for beginners too. Lyra has the ring nebula, the double-double multiple star system, and more. And finally, there's Altair in the constellation Aquila, the eagle. One of my favorite star clusters, known as the Wild Duck Cluster, or Messier 11, lies right at the end of the eagle's tail. Ironically, M11 is just over the border of a neighboring constellation called Scutum. That's kind of the idea here, though, that finding one object or constellation takes you on a path to finding others. It's amazing how much you can see just by branching out from parts of the sky you know into the parts you don't. My advice to you is, don't try to learn all these constellations at once. There's no reason to drive yourself crazy. Just focus on Cygnus and Lyra to start, and as you become familiar with these areas, add another constellation so that your range grows little by little, easy peasy. I'll list the links to videos for related constellations for you in the notes below. They'll be here when you're ready. Hi guys, my YouTube buddies have reminded me to ask you to subscribe and hit the like button if you're enjoying this video. It'll help me make more, too. Thanks! So, here are some quick peeks at what more is out there. First, a cool constellation inside the Summer Triangle. It's Volpecula the Fox. Volpecula is home to the famous Dumbbell Nebula. Tucked close to the triangle is Delphinus the Dolphin. Its nose, a star known as Gamma Delphini, is an easy and beautiful double star. Whenever you see the triangle high overhead, you can also look down from there to the southern horizon and pick up two really great constellations, Sagittarius and Scorpius. This part of the sky looks toward the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. There's a lot to see here, and both Sagittarius and Scorpius have easily recognized outlines. Remember, though, we're just going after these little by little. This is just an overview, so you have a place to start. Finally, then, you can head west from Vega to the keystone shape at the heart of the constellation Hercules. The great Hercules cluster, M13, is there. To the east, you'll make out the great square of Pegasus, a part of the constellation Pegasus, the winged horse. Pegasus is itself a distinctive landmark like the Summer Triangle, so you'll eventually have another great jumping off point for your star adventures. Don't forget to check out the detailed videos on each constellation when you're ready. They're in the links below. Clear skies, my friends. 